are going to head to Lauren Hall. It's part of our continuing coverage. It's news for Wake Up on the Radio. And Lauren's uh, in Amherst this morning. Yeah, she's hanging out with Janet and Nick at KISS 98.5. She's tracking the traffic. She's also, you know, getting involved with the different segments they have. Thanks, Jordan and Teresa. We're not only talking about music as an art this morning. We're also talking about visual art. Janet, I see that you've added a little bit of artwork <laughs> to the studio. Well, Lauren, this is actually for a really good cause. Now, they did a mosaic of my face, but this is something <laughs> KISS 98.5 is supporting. We're helping Children's Hospital raise money to build the new hospital. So we're doing schools care for kids. We're asking all the schools across Western New York to get together and have draw your face parties. All of these single pictures of faces of students across Western New York will be part of the permanent mosaic of Children's Hospital. And what will the big mosaic be uh, of? Do you know? They have not announced what it's actually going to be a picture of, but this is a way to raise money for Children's Hospital. And we haven't built a new hospital in 100 years. So to have your child's face be in the lobby of Children's Hospital. We're really excited about it and we're hoping all the schools get together with us. So this is an example of what a mosaic is and it just happens to be my picture. How <laughs> special. I mean, if you think about the wide mm -hmm. reach of Children's Hospital and how many children here in Western New York have been treated there or someone in their family has and like you said, for their photo to be part of the hospital. Yeah, I think about how somebody in fifth grade could be drawing their face today and then in 10, 15 years they'll be going to the hospital for other reasons and happy reasons and they'll be able to find their picture for the rest of their life. So it's a really special thing and we're excited to be a part of it. So they're still looking for schools to participate. Yes. So if someone at home is a teacher or a parent and knows of a school that wants to participate, how do they do that? They can just go to our website at kiss985.com and it's just to raise money to build the hospital. All great reasons. So this probably will not be on the lobby though? I think it's a good, I, I think this is the perfect mosaic and, yeah. and Nick's been practicing his Nick coloring. Nick is practicing his coloring too. We're going to bring you into this artistic well, conversation. I want to do my own self portrait, but I want to be perfect obviously. Oh, so I've taken up this relax, I uh, screwed up again son of a Nicholas, I don't, well, I help me to relax. It's not working. <laughs> so, now, do you find when you're doing the coloring books about for adults, I find this, that I do get stressed about yes, being yeah, perfect. Yes, I hand cramp. I stressed out. I messed up again. I got outside the lines. It's supposed to help me calm, relax through the day. Well, at least you sound relaxed, and that's all that matters, especially on the radio. Oh, thank you. I love gift bags. <laughs> well, thanks so much. We'll go through that. We also have another couple of treats coming up in the 8 a.m. hour of Wake Up. We're waking up on the radio with Janet Snyder and Nicholas Piglis right here at KISS 98.5 Studios in Amherst. And we'll see you from here shortly again right here on the CW23. For now, we're going to take a break, but News 4's Wake Up will be right back.